Welcome to my team. Here you'll experience the world of Formula One, not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's create your driver. And now let's focus on your driver's look. Great! Now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Nice! Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Fantastic! Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit. But we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. We almost have all the key partners for our team now. But we still need a teammate for you. 
These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn acclaim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Let's create the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the cars we signed them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Last but not least, we need to consider our brand, our badge and team colors.
Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. We're here at the headquarters of Formula One's newest team for an exclusive first look at what they will be bringing to the sport. It's always an exciting moment to welcome a new team onto the grid. However, what makes this occasion a little more special is how strikingly different the cars are this year. Yep, the long-awaited new regulations are finally here, and with them, the start of the next era of Formula One. The 2022 season ushers in a change of direction to the regulations aimed at promoting closer racing. With new aero additions in the form of swooping front and rear wings, along with the new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tyres that will push tyre technology to the limit. So then, the question remains as to whether this team can grasp the opportunity before them with both hands and lead the charge against the rest of the paddock. We'll find out soon enough, as the new season is just about to begin. But first, let's see the unveiling of the team's car and meet the owner of the brand new Formula One team. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a... Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most... Well, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. This is where you can view our current facilities and the effects they are having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. This is the driver market. From here, you can see pertinent details on every driver in the sport, compare them with each other, and add them to your watch list. When the contract negotiation window rolls around, this is where you will approach any drivers you wish to hire.
it's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent. And that's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximize the team's performance. It looks like you've had a meeting request from one of our departments. As the boss, departments will often reach out to you for advice on how to handle the various ongoings of your team. These events can range from everything, from organizing charity events to dealing with driver matters. How you decide to handle these will have an impact. Thanks for stepping in and helping handle that. Morning mate, Mark here. Thanks again for bringing me on board. You've found a lot of talented people for this team and I can't wait to see what we can accomplish. Our journey to the Constructors' Championship starts right here today and the car is ready to head out when you are. There'll be a lack of rubber out on track, so take it easy for the first couple of laps. Okay, the guys have found a leak in one of the coolant lines, so we're patching that up as we speak. Hold tight for now until we've got everything checked over. Before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Sainz, Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. 
Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we... We go racing today around the 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, George Russell and Norris. Perez, Ricardo, Bottas and Guan Yu Zhou. Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, Lance Stroll and Gasly. Magnussen, Ocon, Fernando Alonso. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Richard Vashore, Albon, Vettel, Latifi and more. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. We can do a lot better than this, come on.
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Smiling faces on the pit wall then after that superb win here at Sakir. And rightly so, a brilliant effort from the whole team. Tell me out, how do they manage to achieve this win? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races. And we saw that today with our winner. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. today, Carlos Sainz assumes the top spot in the championship standings. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Moore. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.
We've got an issue we'd like your input on. The department wants me to pass on their thanks for helping out. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car, ready for the next race weekend. <laughs> 